At Columbia, diversity and inclusion aren't just about numbers. Columbia is doing the work to take institutional action that acknowledges our nation's history. Let's turn it over to film students, junior Caitlin and senior Bertram for their perspective on the work Columbia is doing and the work that lies ahead. Hi everyone. I grew up in a suburb filled with different cultures and people, but it was still a bubble. I was active in school protests and took part in events that celebrated my Filipina identity. I thought Colombia would be the perfect place to continue my work as a social justice activist while also being a creative. I'm usually the only Asian kid in a lot of spaces, so I wanted to find a community where I could express my identity and better understand my roots. What about you, Bertram? I chose Columbia because its film program ranks among the top 20 in the country. I wanted to understand how I could best tell my stories of triumph over adversity through film. I grew up in the Mississippi Delta region of Arkansas immediately following the civil rights era. As an older, non-traditional student of color, I bring a different perspective to the Columbia classroom. Much of what was common during my formative years would never be tolerated today. But I think Columbia understands that we cannot stop and pat ourselves on the back for a job well done. We must continue the ongoing fight against racism. Caitlin, I know you're also active in the community when it comes to identifying the structural part of racism. Yeah, I'm going to be the vice president of Columbia's Asian Student Organization, and I hope to continue making changes that amplify who we are, embrace our differences, and honor our intersectionalities. What about your experience, Bertram? Columbia really is something special. I'm fortunate to have had various platforms to combat racism, and I'm encouraged to continue to speak my truth. Many of my Columbia professors have actually given me class time to speak candidly to my peers about racism and our racist past. I've been stereotyped as the quiet Asian woman my whole life, but as a Columbia student, I feel more empowered than ever to use my voice. As white as Columbia still is as an institution, we are able to make our presence known and use our voices to be heard. It's tangible proof that Columbia is working to bridge gaps and iron wrinkles. This work is never done. Columbia students will be provoked, challenged, and educated in ways that will push us closer to a more equitable future. It's easy to say that Columbia is anti-racist, but what really matters is community accountability and speaking up, showing up, and doing the work. Thanks for listening. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Caitlin and Bertram, for taking the time to give us all a glimpse into your experiences and the challenges and rewards of doing institutional-wide anti-racist work. We appreciate you both.